Hey guys, it's me, your and welcome to day 10 of the Cairo vlog series. Can't believe I've actually made it to day 10 already, subhanAllah. But yeah, today's day was a very busy day, I must say. In the morning, woke up like usual, had the breakfast here at the hotel, then went to the old uh, Arab Academy, did four hours of lessons because today is actually our penultimate day where tomorrow is our last day there. So yeah, it's a bit sad, like, you know, we spent like seven lessons there already now. And yeah, so we've only got one day left. So that's, well, in a way, it's nice because then we don't have to study anymore. But then in a way, it's sad because we won't be doing it anymore. So yeah, we did the lessons four hours, one o'clock to five o'clock. Uh, and then we decided today to go to Khan Al Khalid, the famous shopping um, bazaar place in Old Cairo. So what we did was we took an Uber from Arab Academy to the place. It was very crowded today and there was a lot of traffic on the road. Our Uber driver told us it was because the president himself went to the Egyptian Civilization Museum to check up on his project. So the whole of downtown um, Cairo was pretty jam-packed and busy. So we got there and we actually started from the Islamic area of Cairo, um, which is like where there's like a map, the first wall of Cairo was built. So we started from the second gate. And once you enter into the gate, there is a huge masjid on the left hand side. And that masjid is actually the second biggest or it's either the second biggest or the first or the biggest uh, masjid in Cairo. So we prayed uh, Maghrib there uh, and then we left uh, and then we walked down the street and it's literally one long street that takes you to Khan al Khamili and it ends in front of the Azhar Masjid. So we went down this place, uh, did a bit of shopping as you can see. I got myself a uh, Muhammad Salah Egypt uh, t-shirt as you can see. Uh, the size is a bit big but I thought I'd get a big one in case I gain weight in the future or you know if it shrinks in the washing machine um, I, got, uh, I managed to get this for 200 Egyptian pounds which is Mia Teen um, it, the original price the guy told me was 250 got it down to 200 but guys the sad thing was right I went to some other shops afterwards after I purchased this and I was like how much is your Mohammed Salah shop worth they were like 180 so yeah I think maybe I missed out on about 20 to 50 Egyptian pounds maybe so guys if you're in Egypt and you're buying a Mohammed Salah t-shirt do not pay more than 180 for one because you can definitely find one for cheaper and if anyone's telling you 300 or 400 they're scamming you right don't don't let that happen uh, so yeah that's what happened there and then we brought some other things as well so I think another recommendation where one going to the shops would be if you see the same product in multiple different shops just ask like the shop owner how much is it so you can gauge the pricing and then once you find one that's actually for a low price you can go ahead and do some negotiation and try and get it for even more cheaper so yeah that was basically how we spent our evening today just shopping and walking through the bazaar the other thing i'd also recommend is just be careful keep your um, possessions safe and zipped up because uh yeah, there's a few like uh, interesting uh, people that do walk around so yeah just be careful uh, and just keep your phone and stuff uh, zipped up in your pocket so yeah just to be safe uh, and then afterwards after we finished um we had uh, an uber back uh, to the hotel where we today ordered from talabat and ordered some hardies uh, the chicken burger and the fries i think in this trip in cairo i don't think i've ever had that many burgers so i think i've basically been having one a day basically which is not really good for my health but uh, yeah it is what it is basically but guys this has been basically day 10 here in cairo nice uh busy day busy shopping day with uh, studying as well and tomorrow is our final day at arab academy so i'll make another separate video on like my experience of arab academies uh, in person um teaching they do here in cairo and whether i'd recommend it to future students or not so yeah Hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. And if you have any thoughts about Cairo and if you've ever been to Khan al-Khamili, let me know your experiences in the comment section below. And peace.